Do the planets and stuff have something to do with it? Yeah, planetary alignment is, of, of course. course. <laughs> <laughs> the harmonic convergence approaches. And again, because the effects, the timer on the on magic, on time-based ma- Oh, look at that sneaking! Look oh. at that! Oh! That is her, What a smooth motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> look at that sneaking. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. <laughs> that just tickles me so much. Oh! Was that a flying book? That was. <laughs> Did we, like, enter it's Hogwarts no at some point? Uh, no consequence. They're just is a flying book. All right. That's just one That's of just the things life. that happens in the creepy haunted mansion. You just, you have to take things at face value. Yeah. Accept things. Oh, can we get into that yet? Yeah, because now we can dispel the magic. Yes. Oh, it's changed too, because it broke that one time. The Ooh, revolver and, guy. Yes, it, it, it broke back in Max's day, but now it's, it, it has since been repaired and but it, it has. But it's a different image. Yeah. In Max's say it was like a red circle at the top. Yes. Well, because now it's the now it's version a lady. Of, the, of the woman holding the what is actually the chapter page. How does she get that? It was enchanted there somehow. I, I don't... No, I mean, oh. It's like, because it was floating above her head. I'm like, did she jump to grab it? Or? Oh, no. I wish there was an animation to show her jumping. Like, uh. It's not that high up, though. If it was a Buffy episode, it would be like two inches out of her grasp, Steel and hard, then she'd pout. Alexander, <laughs> someone taller than me, go <laughs> get it. <laughs> that made Buffy sound whinier than she actually is. Well, she's not. She'd yell at someone until they got it, but. No. <laughs> I am not your food today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one. This is the Greater Guardian, also called the Black Guardian. Uh. Um, even though none of them are black, they're all color coded normally. Yeah. Um, but yes, that, that is the Greater Guardian, and that is uh, a new. In Europe, during the time Character. of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption Spanish ran deep. <laughs> With the fear yeah. of devilry running rampant, the ancients' corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. Yeah, there's a lot of cutscenes in this in this chapter. A lot of people talking at each other. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral. Brother Luther. I'm not evil at all. <laughs> Emperor Palpatine, <laughs> what are you doing in this? <laughs> I shall not impose excellency. I Excuse me, that is your 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 emperorship. <laughs> the hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relics. Yeah, Pius Augustus is, is such a of course he's such a drama queen. He's, he's so theatrical. It's just not like, oh yes, I want to have this kind of disguise. <laughs> I'm going to speak in a creepy voice. He likes his costumes. And you know, he nothing wrong with that. He's different characters. He's been alive for two thousand years. You gotta. He's gotta create his own entertainment. In the most deceptive places. Exactly. Which I believe is the case with Amiens. Now, all are all of his little disguises voiced by the same. The Inquisition does not need luck. Brother Luther. Yeah, this is faith this. and purity. It's it's always it's always guides. him. It's always the same voice actory guy, and he always sounds that evil. So it's like, <laughs> it's it's like, like these people should have known. Really, no should've. excuse. Paul, get the hell out of there! You are completely out of. And now he's Philippe Augustine. Whoop. 
Is no one catching this pattern? <laughs> well, in their defense, it is over the course of 2,000 years of history. So, like... Eh. This is like the doctor showing up uh, yeah, in different really places, is. He's just like dressed e in different clothes. Like, like, it's the same dude. Yeah. For the love of God! Oh, God, no. Help! Come quickly! Another dead body? In the cathedral? Again? Oh! Look at those creepy guards. They're all so creepy, murder, it's like... A murder most foul. What heresy is this? Well, Those they all look was... dead. I found him lying. Yeah, they really... <laughs> it's it's sort of... It's very conspicuous. I'm just like, Paul... You, you, you gotta be noticing this, dude. Paul, Paul. Yeah. You're the only one with any color in your skin at all. You don't have glowy eyes. What? What? Hold your tongue, Franciscan. And now they're trying to essentially frame you for murder. If you trust in the Almighty and you are indeed innocent, yet yeah, this <laughs> when Paul starts gains the ability to start casting magic in this chapter, it's a little weird, given that like it's like what is this dark sorcery? That I am also using because I possess the evil book. It's 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 a little weird. Well, he's a monk that now possesses an evil book. He's gonna yeah, or is about to possess an evil. Oh yeah, the dark the darkness is the brightness is turned down a little bit on this video. It will not be on the final product, but but yes, it's a very grumpy look looking man. It's not a holy man. That is a grumpy man. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing there. Yeah, I'm confused. What, what are you what? looking for? I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Shiny. Steal the shiny. Yep. <laughs> that is, in fact, the way to trigger the cutscene that will allow you to move forward. <laughs> it's the only thing you can do. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I See, this guy knows what's up. up. Like he knows how conspicuously evil all the, the monks the have become. The found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed. And he looks actually alive. Yeah, exactly. Find me in the bell tower oh, later. Custodian I guy. Why are you releasing me? I so much more dialogue than any other non-player character in the entire rest of the game. <laughs> well, except I guess for like the ancients, but that's yeah. This journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were and it's you, called the Oublier Cathedral. They yes. They truly hunt me if I run. It is this based to stop. on, loosely based on, way, um, Find the the cathedral in uh, Amiens. Um, time in the old tower investigating. It's the forgotten I cathedral. Yep. The the also, hint, hint, very <laughs> ominous. <laughs> yeah, like who named this? But yeah, yeah. So this is. You're not allowed to enter. You're not allowed to leave. Like, come on. So it's it's loosely based on the the cathedral that actually does exist at at Amiens, but that is not called the Oubliette Cathedral because because <laughs> obviously want to not people. exactly. Oh, yep. Phase four. Not even phased by the screaming faces. I'm t starting to doubt your monkhood. No, he really shouldn't. I was gonna say, for a holy man, he is... Yeah, he is just not... <sighs> yeah, uh, well... Okay, well... <laughs> he really should, though. He should leave the cathedral. <laughs> cares if the evil people want to say that you're guilty? Get out of there, dude. Yeah, dude. It's a way better life. A way better death, I should say. That than 
this insane quest. Yeah. But you dying fast would not entertain us as much, so move well, along, sir. Yeah. Ooh, can't do anything to the zombie yet, so except punch him. And that's very not holy. <laughs> it's a very unholy thing for a monk it's to do. It's very unmonk-like. Just to punch the, the living dead. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we go to to ring the bell so that we can have a little powwow with the custodian. I don't know why we couldn't just have the powwow with the custodian when we were locked in the cell. That's like a... Like, I don't know why we need to wait. It's like a super important custodian. You gotta ring the bell to get him. Do you have a hunch? Well, I mean, it's normally his, his job to ring the bell, but, you know, he knows. He knows what's up. <sighs> More talking! <laughs> Too soon. As you have noticed, terrain things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here. Does um in the midst of the Inquisition, Brother Luther start to like look ill that. and stuff too, like no Anthony? No. Oh, that was just poor Anthony. <laughs> yeah, that was just because of the the curse on the scroll that Anthony Why had. Oh, uh, okay. This. That kid. Yeah, Anthony. He got the short end of the stick. <laughs> he really did. It unlocks the old tower. Anthony, you'll 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 see Anthony soon. I like I said, everyone comes back at some point. Well, everyone who dies. Like Edwin Lindsay, he doesn't come back ever again. Because he's just all like, F -f fuck this, I got treasure to go find. <laughs> he's off, you know, in his own Uncharted ripoff uh, video game series. You gonna go melt somebody's face. He's, 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 he's Sullivan. That's, that's, that's the... The secret of his character is he is secretly Sully from the Uncharted games. Yes. <laughs> Sully went by a, a different name back in 1981. So now we have the key to the old tower. Um, you may notice that this cathedral looks entirely different from when we were visiting as Anthony. That is because this is a separate building. Okay. The old chapel, that's the old tower which we just got the key to. Right. You'll recognize that is the main building of where we were as Anthony. Cause this place is big and grand. Ooh, look at that. Too much time on their hands. You're supposed to be worshipping God. <laughs> well, that's it. They're, they're, they're worshipping God. They don't have time on their hands. Why didn't I... I, I grab it on the way back, but I don't know why I didn't grab that torch that was very conspicuously not a part of the background. Anyway, this room just has a couple things you need to pick up in it. Aww. Crossbow! Crossbow! That it's is kind his... of upsetting that he doesn't kick it open like Zelda. I mean, uh, <laughs> Link. <laughs> <laughs> just well, you like, know, that patiently, would, that would not be very That would not be very monk-like. He's not doing many things very monk-like. It's true. He should just embrace his, like, rebel heart. <laughs> Fuck God, I'd do what I want. Heresy. Carnal deviant acts. <laughs> oh my. Does that person have, like, a snake body? I think so. That's Excellent. what it looks like, yeah. So... We have the crossbow and we have the podium key. Um, we don't really... No, there are a couple times when we need the crossbow, never mind. I was gonna say that, that like, <sighs> the crossbow isn't really that necessary. I mean, the melee weapon is always more essential than the ranged weapon. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's... Oh, yes, this is a fun thing. Meditation rods, even though we have access to magic, for the purpose of character building, we're given meditation rods, which completely restore sanity. Yeah. Like, even if you were at no sanity, you can restore it all the way just by using the item, which is nice, because then you don't have to expend magic. In fact, I, I'm, if I remember correctly, I... Hmm. So strange. Uh, I'm pretty sure I use a... Um, 
uh, one of them just to, to show it off. Okay, but I have the key. Use, use the key. Ooh. Diary page. <laughs> Again! <laughs> what does it say? Well, here you are. Poor deceased brother Andrew. Mm. Rip in peace. This so the hand of Jude is not a real thing, but it's based on a real phenomenon mm -hmm. where, um, like often to build up their own status and make themselves more important and increase basically the equivalent of tourism, mm -hmm. a lot of medieval churches like would claim to have such and such artifacts yes that were yeah so the hand that of, I know. the hand of jude is like is just a play on that notion okay like oh we have this hand of this saint exactly yes which i did not know that that, that is was one of the things i learned about in catholic school okay surprisingly they weren't too big on teaching us about the church's corruption but right i had a great history teacher that didn't give a fuck <laughs> Yeah, that was not a thing that I... And here they, they explain the forging of ancient relics to... Um, but I did not know that this was uh, a real thing until this game. And I was like, oh, that's that's a thing. I just did not know about that part of history. Someone claims to have history. Jesus' shroud. Right, yeah. Um, Or they'll have, like, bone fragments of somebody else. And... Yeah. Yeah, Cuthbert's jawbone, thighbone flute of Connaught. <laughs> <laughs> I, the I, game makes it way better than, like, the actual stories. Yeah. It's all sort of, it's like, it's, they're, they're all, like, second string. Ooh. Um, the, it, it's, it, they're like second string holy grails. It's like he got the big ones, like the Holy Grail and the Lance of Longinus, so like the big ones. And then like everything else, you're just like, well, they're not going to believe that we have the Holy Grail, but like, we could have a thing belonging to a famous dude who wasn't Jesus. Right. Ah, yes, and there's an organ. But. Their voice will... creepy. Yep. I mean, I know they belong in a church, so it's not like it's out of place, but. Base. Still creepy. And that is our melee weapon. Thank goodness, because, Fitting. because you know, pri in everything prior to uh, to the twentieth century, in all the chapters that are set prior to the twentieth century, guns are worthless, oh, or I firearms don't... are mostly worthless. Like they're good for taking out trappers mm -hmm. because you need to hit them from far, but otherwise. I love crossbows. Crossbow is fun. Ugh. Ew. Yep. What was that one doing? That's that's how a bone thief gets inside a body. Oh, was it trying to get they inside just, your they body? They just they dig. No, that, that that's inside an, uh, another monk. Oh. Okay. So a bone thief just dug its way into his flesh. No. Yeah. All aboard the nope train. Yeesh. And the thing is, they will sometimes, they will attempt to do that to you. Like, there will be, like, bone thieves, if you let, like, if you, if it takes long enough for you to kill them, they'll jump on you and you have to, like, waggle the stick to what shake them off. What if you off. don't? What would happen? Uh, insta-kill. Oh, but like, if you, you wouldn't don't, see after it, like, trying to, you wouldn't see no, it going inside you? Yes, you do, actually. Oh. And in fact, that that's in one of the later videos. Okay, I, show I was gonna that say, off. like, please tell me you, you've recorded that. Those, those sounds sound familiar. Hmm. Which ones? I didn't hear them. There was some groaning sounds. Oh no! Terminator? For yeah, Anthony has become the Terminator. <laughs> no! He really just had such a shitty life. I know, he's, so he's being resurrected for all time, and he's got the sword! Oh, poor Anthony. Which hurts, because Paul is not very fast, because he's just a monk, he's not a warrior. Yeah. 
So you basically just need to play hit and run. Oh. And one more time. Oh yeah. Cause... He doesn't respawn infinitely. You can, you do eventually kill him, and hopefully, I like to imagine that you kill him for good. I like to uh, to to think that to give poor him some Anthony. Sort of a happy ending. Or a complete ending. Or an ending. An ending, yeah. Aww. Poor Anthony. Yep. He was just trying to protect his king. Yeah. A lot of well, people he shouldn't getting, have. Bi getting dicked over. And so we got the ruby that was his eye, and we have the two edged sword. Yeah. And I think. I, tr I tried to see. It doesn't seem like a big difference, but I've heard people say that there is. And I can't quite find it, but that Paul, because Paul is bigger than Anthony, mm -hmm. he wields the two hand, the, the, the two edged sword uh, the, um, more. Yeah, more easily. Than, than Anthony does, because Anthony's just a sh and Paul's not a warrior, but he, but Anthony's a little bigger. shrimpy dude, yeah, and and Paul's a little bigger built, but I'm not sure if that's true. It's not a huge difference, um, but it I th there might be some. I need to look at like side by side more cohesively, um, comprehensively. Musical notes. Yeah, and here's flavor text for like the mace and stuff. Mace is good, but you know, sword is bigger. <laughs> sword sword has a greater reach, and and it can you know chop people and or zombies in two. So, that's that's just good. See, so, yeah, the thing. <sighs> It's never explicitly stated this way, but you need to collect the three diary pages of Brother Andrew and the Book of Requi Rel 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 Reliquaries, um, because you need to collect all of the evidence right. that proves that there is s scary shit happening, and then return to the, the custodian. Okay. Now, Anthony's done for now? We don't yeah. see him again? Well, I mean, all, uh, ghosts come back more later, but that's that's Anthony's big post, uh, post death scene cameo, yeah. And there's a fun Easter egg with that 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 I won't spoil because it's it's a lot of fun actually, um, but I'll show it off in one of the in in the uh, one of the new game plus videos. Now that we have the sword, we can chop ourselves up some motherfuckers. So, I, I didn't actually mention this during uh, chapter 5, but um, you can start the fighting earlier, like as Max, because you're given a gun right from the, the get-go, right. and you can sh like just attack your servants. And the ones that are inhabited by bone thieves mm -hmm. will start attacking you then. Like others, the ones that, that aren't, like, they'll break cover once you attack them. Right. And, the, and then all of the other uh, bone thief servants will, like, attack you. Will, like, home on you and be all like, he knows. <laughs> all right. We... See any dwarves in there? <laughs> No, nope. just nope. checking. There looks like there's twelve. Yeah, or ten maybe. Ah, this one is hollow. Sure, why not? be sad every time that sound doesn't happen when I open a door. <laughs> yeah, it's it's such a satisfying sound. It's like when the doors sigh on the, the heart of gold. Yeah. Another horror, but we are invisible. The one thing, the other thing about being invisible is that, like, 
as you can see, like, there's static laser electricity thing crackling throughout horror's bodies. That will still hurt you. Well, yeah, because you're also running into that. Yeah, like, if you stay nearby, like, if you play hit and run, like, like how we did with Anthony, mm -hmm. you can avoid that. But even though the horrors won't attack you, the the static magic stuff will. Right. Which, fortunately, just did damage to our magic meter. Should be waiting for something. Hmm. And there's three of them, I wonder. This is a pattern. Red, blue, green. Put the things in the slots. <laughs> Yup. <laughs> yes, I appreciate that you had that nice musical sting going, but I'm going to interrupt it with my visit to the menu. Smack. Yeah, and see, even though they can't see you, their heads still tend to follow you. Uh. Oh, I know. I need to kill this one. But la 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 la. Invisible. Yeah, and zombies, some zombies, when you are just, are like, lying on the ground. Oh, it's a red horror. Yeah. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> yeah, fighting red horrors is a pain in the butt. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I was doing that. But yeah, so zombies that are just lying on the ground will not... They only... Like, rise when when they see you. So if you're invisible, they just won't even get up off the ground. So there. I'm gonna... in. In, in videos after this, I'm gonna cut more of, like, when there's, like, long, tedious enemy encounters with enemies you've already seen, I'm gonna cut that stuff out. Right. Uh, th there'll be less of that in future videos. Um. Oh. No, that's not... Oh, all right. I was hitting the torch. Oh. <gasps> Is he actually dead? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, and they and and then they act like it's a big surprise when Paul finds the custodian to actually be dead. I'm like, "Whoa." Dude, that inscription. We just found his coffin. Yeah, the the inscription on that thing that said that you may only pass when you have sacrificed your friend was right. kind of specific, and it had the custodian's face on it. It's so like little it's bit. leaving him all the directions. Yeah. And Chaturga zombies. So good thing we're invisible. They ain't not even getting up. I hate those zombies. And I'm not even playing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm feeling secondhand hate. Yep, no pressure plate puzzle this time. You just push it inward. It's got the power. Dun 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 Yes! Set them on fire. I love it. Yeah, that's the one way in which the Zelotath run is is just straight up easier than, for instance, the Uliath run. Mm -hmm. Even though you know, the Uliath run on the whole is, I think, is um, uh, e easier. Um, but the one thing is that, like, you can just have the torch and just go through and just mow your way through all the Zelotath zombies. Right. You just whack, 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 move on. Yep. 
yes, now we now we start to get into the the essences, um, part of the of the story. Um, so each of you know the essences are the three things that we chose between and as pious okay. at the end of the thing. Um, those are the the essences of the three ancients, and then the fourth one is of course is the heart of Mantarok. Um, and you, and you know in order to fight the and so we 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 need to we'll, we'll be sort of in di- each in different locations exists each of the of the the essences okay whoop, 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 whoop. fast forward cuz there's a lot of backtracking in this level too run away run away Yep. <laughs> now we get to play the organ. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Influence. Of course. And since we have the, then you just you just press the buttons. There were more organ music in this in this in this game. There's 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 really not. It's lacking in. I mean, the music's already pretty creepy as is. I but, know, but it's sure you awesome. need more organ music. Yeah, and I mean, you you play the organ again the next time you you come to this level, um, and here. I mentioned circles of power before, and now we are able to use five point spells. Yes. Except, or wait, hold on. Uh, losing track of what we, what we found. Yeah, yeah. Power up. And so that was the final rune that we got. That we weren't because we collect so many runes and codexes and stuff, but um, uh, the, the final rune to unlock, we have now unlocked all the runes, and the final one is Pargon. Okay. You expect to hear voices saying Pargon a lot, because Pargon, you, you can only combine two runes plus the alignment rune in a spell, so, like, for five and seven point spells, it's just Rune adding Pargons. Okay. Augustine all along. I managed to find no. remnants of his journal. And it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. I know, because I use some of their magic. The cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. Oh, a storm's I coming. This, I love his delivery of that. Oh. It. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well, claiming that the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude, was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. The Hand of Jude never existed. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. <laughs> I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed again. upon my pillow this morning. It can only mean one thing. I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. Run! I can only hope that what little faith Run I away. have... Run away! ...is enough to save my soul. <sighs> Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. <sighs> See, you're a good monk. Protect thee, Brother Luther. Oh, that's all. Not even a monk. He's a custodian, and he's a better monk than 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 the monk. He yeah, Brother Luther is a little. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! And if nice you blade. decide to go back to investigate that, or wait, hold on. Oh, first I examine the knife. <laughs> Used to sacrifice humans. Hint, hint. 
kind of sad that you can't use this as like a weapon. Right. It's pretty. It's weird. Like like um like later on you you find a pickaxe in the mansion as Alex and I'm like why can't you use that as a weapon? I mean you don't need to <gasps> Custodian's gone. Where go? He disappeared. It. Yep. No. Do I fast forward this again? I think I fast forward this again. No, no, wait. I show off the view from up here. You can look down. <gasps> That's neat. That's pretty. Yeah. Just, just a little, little touch. Up here, all the way over the side. Do not fall. No. more fast forwarding because so much backtracking <laughs> and in later videos I, I just start cutting backtracking out altogether but in these videos it's kind of it's good to remember See. the layout of of the way things are yet yeah, trappers can see through invisibility that's the other that's the only thing keeping invisibility from being completely boringly broken right. is that trappers because trappers don't see you anyway they don't have eyes they hear you i got caught by a trapper but just that visit to the trapper dimension was not interesting so it, it it's cut out <laughs> oh god in the final video in video 12 i get caught by so many trappers it's embarrassing <laughs> I'm just so impatient. It's like with the the traps in in the Khmer Temple. It's like the little swinging I, I just, swords and stuff. Yeah, I just I have no patience anymore. I've played this game so many times. Ugh, those things. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gee, I wonder. Oh my god. Yep. Was he in that? No, it's 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 like a voodoo doll basically. Oh. Is the idea, I think. Dispel. And this is the first time we need to use um and now we need to actually use uh, a five point spell. The obnoxious thing is Spells that you already have don't automatically upgrade to five point. So you, you have need to, to re manually re input the runes. Okay. So, like, I need to re input. I can't just go to dispel magic and select five with five points. I mm -hmm. need to to choose it manually first and then I can. Gotcha. Yeah. This is a little obnoxious. It's not a. It's not a deal breaker, but it's, you know, it's just one of those things. Oh god, no, he's dead! I totally didn't see that coming! Alone against the darkness. No. Again. Story of yeah. Story of this game. You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive. Oh. You seek them out. Felipe. What, what is it? Augustine. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think? Finds a viper's nest of heresy when he finds the very source of corruption. I think of irony. <laughs> irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for, and that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. <laughs> you will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. Yeah. We have broken your frail body and mine in the name of our true lord, Zenithor. Come, my children. Feast on this morsel 
Let us return to our preparation. So delightfully hammy, I love him. Ugh. More bone thieves. Big sword? Yep. Yes. Whack him with it. Whack. I like its little screams. Yeah. Die, Especially because that means it's dying. Oh, I guess I don't use the meditation rod. At any, at any, I thought I did. I mean, it's not like I just, I described the effect to you already. It's right. not a hugely important, but yeah, I could have, I could have sworn that I, I did. Is, so he the is Luther the only one who gets it? Yes. Um, although, uh, they're... There is one of the character who gets a s who gets another sanity restoring uh, item. item like it. Oh no! Don't do it, Paul. You're not a warrior. Oh well. Here we go. All of the, the greater Your guardians are also God. are voiced by the same voice actors who voice word. the ancient that they're all lying with. The the they only have a few lines though. Ourselves. Oh well um Well Oh Your head explode. Goodbye. Oh, poor Paul. Each of the guardians has different physiology, so the manner of Paul's death is kind of is different in each. Well, sort of different for each one. Really? Yeah. How does he die in the each other? Of, one? Well, you'll see, because I show off the other. Because the the other guardians are different enough that I show them off in the different in the other videos. Yeah. Oh, well, um...